You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Come, Kanjo. What is going on between If Nanya and our new gate man? Osigene, please, my sister, what were you saying? <laughs> you should be the one to tell us if you had noticed anything. My dear, I don't know what I did to that girl. She has been disturbing me about that new gate man. Have you given him food? Nye, 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 nye. She won't let me rest. Please. If she wants to do love, let her not use me to do love. Oh. <laughs> if she wants to practice love, let her not use me to practice love. Oh. Because if I lose it for her, you guess you want her for me. You guess you want her for me. <laughs> I said it. I said it. There's something going on between this both, both of them. I said it. See. Maybe she was only fighting for his rights. You know, that boy looks humble and quiet. He doesn't like to talk. And you know, Chef Choma, she likes riding on people's weakness. Maybe that was what Ifunaya saw that made her start speaking up. You know, she doesn't like when people are intimidated unjustly. It's a lie. Oh. Yes. Ifunaya is so cheap. She's so cheap. Whenever she sees any fine boy around, that is her, her busy body. Will just, be, will just be controlling her. Controlling her. Eh? I wonder what that girl sees in that church rat. Huh? That dirty, that dirty gates, man. Hey! What she saw? Eh? Uh -huh. Ah, you were the one that just said he's a fine boy. Eh? Uh -huh. And so, fine boy, no money. Fine boy, Coco OG. OG! Hey! Some girls are shameless. A hey, homie. Hmm. Okay, baby. Nke mm -hmm. we stood so low to date that church rat. I chinek with me wala. Off a big bat and I cast down behind him. Adaku, mm -hmm. I know my class. And I will remain in that class till I die. Oh. Yes! Nke baby. You know. Adaku mm -hmm. oh. Him! Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I, I think of Adaku. Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Um, sorry. <laughs> I, I... I wanted to say thank you for your kindness towards me in this palace. In fact, apart from my mother, you're also the reason why I haven't stopped working here. You're welcome. Thank you. Wait, wait. Um, I, I don't know your name. Ifunaya. Ifunaya. Oh, that's a very beautiful name. My, my name is Ubina. Okay, Ubina. Thank you. She's a very tall woman.
Hey, hey, hey. Let me man. Always sleeping on duty. Mr. Man! Get up and take your food. Mm -hmm. This is your night food. Mm -hmm. Take your food! You're not in home, home. Uh, Thank you. Keep the test to yourself and do your work properly. Must you always sleep? But, Auntie, the, the, the job is very... Shut up! What did you just call me? Did you just call me your auntie? Wait, too. Do I look like your auntie? Don't call me your auntie next time. Don't call me your auntie next time. Did you hear me? I was only trying to explain to you that the job is, is, the job is stressful. And I'm a peace-loving person. I'm not a troublemaker. And I don't want us to fight, please. We can live together in harmony. I can be your brother, you can be my sister. We don't have to quarrel, please. Wait, so you don't just call me a troublemaker. I didn't say you're a troublemaker. I only said we can live together in peace and harmony, please. Please keep the peace to yourself and do your work properly. Must you always sleep? Ah! Nonsense. Hi, what have I even done to deserve all this hatred? I do not need to remind you about what you are here to do, about where you are about what you're doing. You have your respective duties. I urge you to do your duties diligently. I urge you to recognize what you are supposed to be doing and do it. I urge you not to gallivant. This is the palace. And you must respect the palace. You must show loyalty to the palace and to your duty. They are all my children. Every one of you, at least by virtue of your being a member of this kingdom. I don't have many children. I have three, just three. Biological children. My son who is not living with us, who is abroad, and my two daughters. So, you're all children of the palace. My son will be coming back maybe in about three months time. Yes. And I want him to come into a palace where there is love. Palace where there is order, not a palace of anarchy. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Good. Does anybody have anything to say? Like maybe uh, you have a challenge in your your duty post. Yes. Igwe, may your days be longer than that of your fathers. Igwe, um, as the commander in charge of the security affairs of this great palace, yeah. Igwe, I just have. Um, I just need clarification in some of the areas of my job, sir. I'm listening. Igwe, um, Uncle Afonwa categorically told me that on no account must I leave my duty post, mm -hmm. which is the entrance of this great palace. Also known as the gate, sir. Yes. 
So I asked him, um, how do I get my food, sir? What is it? Quiet. Let's hear it. Thank you, Your Highness. May I continue my... Go on! Yes, sir. Igwe, so I asked him, wouldn't I be needing, you know, my own time to have lunch, dinner, and my breakfast as someone who is working in, the great, in this great palace, sir? So he told me in confidence that I can have my breakfast and lunch at my duty post, sir. Mm -hmm. That the chef will always bring my food to me, sir. Yes. What about that? Do you have any problem with that? No, sir. So what are you complaining about? There's a problem, sir. What is the problem? Sir, the, the, the chef does not like bringing my food to my duty post. Sir, she told me that um, anytime I feel hungry, I should walk down to the kitchen myself to take my food. Y yes, sir. You mean leave your duty post? Yes, sir. Sir, sometimes I, I stay hungry for two days, three days, four days, sir. Sir, but, but, but the major problem is I have ulcer, and the doctor said I must eat food. <laughs> Go hungry in my palace? Y yes, sir. Very hungry, sir. <laughs> Igwe. Will you speak before I break your neck? Igwe, Igwe, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It did not happen exactly the way he said it. I, I know I've, I've failed to get his food once, but I apologize to him now. And since then, it has never happened again. Eh? Uh, yes, now. Igwe, I'm so sorry. Igwe, Igwe, she, she, she also said that. That, that she, she, she is she's in charge of the palace, sir. That, she, that she's going to deal with me and everyone that supports me, sir. Igwe, Igwe. She said she, she will make my life miserable, sir. Uh, Igwe, it's not like I said that, too. Oh. I, I didn't say it. Quiet! <laughs> you said all that? Uh, I, I didn't say all that, too. Oh, I see that some of you take my leniency. Some of you take my kindness as a sign of weakness. You take it for granted. But I tell you, we are soon going to end that. You. 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 Be careful! You just entered the snake hole and the snake has not bitten you. And this is a warning to all of you, especially you, the palace cook. If you like, correct yourself. And if you don't like, keep misbehaving. Igwe, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Adam, that boy has no shame. Shame? Mm -mm. No one at all. Imagine food. Hmm. Ordinary food. I mean, I mean, what is food? Huh? Hunger has made the boy forget his common sense. He doesn't have any sense again because of food. Eh, Adam? That boy forgot everything he's supposed to be in the city and came to the palace just to be a, 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 a common gate man. Just because he wants to be eating food. Ordinary food, beg, beg, food. And that food is the main reason he's here. The chef is trying to deny him of it. Food. And he's like, eh. They are not giving me food. Nah, they are ah. not see food to eat. What will I do? Igwe must hear this, my dear. Food! Ah, Mary, don't, don't beg, beg. 
You see, people's judgment sometimes over assessing issues just, just baffles me. Yes. Nkechi, Adako, let me ask both of you. Ever since you started working in this palace, has there ever been a time the chef denied both of you your food? No, answer me. So because the boy is a nobody, because he's, an, because he's a gate man, he should die. He should be dehumanized, right? It's such a shame that both of you are happy over this. Eh, if I am shame to you. We know you, we know you like Obina. In short, you are even in love with Obina. Anytime you hear about Obina's matter, your body will be doing bazakwin, bazakwin. Shame on you! Don't you don't even her. call this one. Don't mind her. Solicitor and advocate. Food. Defense counsel, we've seen you. Food, uh, food couple. Uh, we are couple. Uh, food couples, beggars. Two of them beggars. Like food. food. So this is how this boy plans to take away food from my mouth and the mouth of my family members. He wants me to be sacked from this palace. For this very singular act of yours, I will make sure you lose your job in this palace. Is it not food? You will eat and eat, but you shall eat to your distraction. Yes, if anyone bites me on the head without minding my hair, when biting the person on the anus, I won't mind your excreta. Yes, Obina, or whatever you call yourself, the battle line has been drawn. My friend, open the gate! Sir? Look at this idiot. Look at this big fool. So you don't know me anymore? I, I don't know you, sir. I'm new here. Oh, open the gate! Sir, who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you here to see someone? <sighs> okay. I'm here to see the princess. Princess Hadeze. Princess? Did she give you an appointment? Oh, open the gate! Sir, did she give you an appointment? Look at this stupid woman. Open this gate! Sir, I am the chief security officer of this palace. Did she give you an appointment? Princess. Um, sorry. Are you expecting anyone? There's one small boy at the gate. He said he wants to see you. What's his name? I don't know, ma'am. You are a compound fool. Good for nothing idiots. That's what you are. Now, leave my sights. So let me ask his name. Let Get out! Me, let, let me ask him his name. I'll be right back. Can you imagine this fool? Look, can you just imagine? Hey, sir, what is your name? Oh my goodness, God. Are you insane? What is your name, sir? Are you mad? Sir, I am the chief security officer of this palace. I'm asking you, what is your name? Sir, what is your name? Excuse me. What is your name? Your name? What is your name? This is my job. You can't just walk into this place. Can you just open I'm this gate? I'm in charge of this gate. What is your name, sir? Are you mad? What is your name, sir? 
You said that you're here to see the princess. Did she give an appointment? You say no. You're, what is your name? What is your name, sir? Okay, fine. <clears throat> My name is Chike. I am the princess husband to be. Chike. Now you know. Chike. Open the Chike gate. who? You're mad. Princess husband to be. Wait for me. If I write Popo. Can you imagine? Hi. Chike, you suffered. <sighs> And what was that noise at the gate for? Huh? What was that noise? Oh, oh, oh. The small boy, he said his name is Chikema. Oh my god. Huh? Obina, he left my fiance at the gate. Oh. And you go dress him as a boy. No, yeah, I will. Are you mad? Are you mad? Now, go and open the gate for him. Obina, go and. Open the gate for him, are you mad? Get out. Get out. Get out. Sorry, I've already given him the beating of his lap. Please, just let him. Look at this idiot! What gods? He kept me out there waiting for so long. It's okay, okay? You know, he's new here. We just employed him. Sorry now. So, so sorry, oh, sir. Don't, don't talk! Just keep quiet! I was asking for his don't name. Don't talk! He... I said you should not talk! I was asking for his name. He, he refused to tell me your name. You want me to slap you again? Ma? No. Don't talk! Sorry now. Come to think of it, what about the other guy? The other gate man that does his work very well. Where is he? He's left. This person is not meant to be in this palace. I know, we just employed him newly, so we hope he improves. Okay? Just. You came to see your love, right? Don't let him spoil your mood. You're keeping me standing. It's okay, Can we go in? I don't know where they got that boy from. He's just a dumb pass. I couldn't hold my laughter. Me too. They should just send that boy back to his mother. I'm tired. What kind of thing is this? Since he came here, it has been from one story to the mm -hmm. other. Huh? No, Adaku. They shouldn't send him back to his mother. Instead of, they should send him to the kitchen where he will stay with Jeff and be cooking. You know he likes food. If you see SSO. in this palace, I have never had any reason to soil my womanhood. Never! Your, your Majesty, you, you, you know when I started working here? I started working here because I wanted to help my old mother in the village. Since I started working here, things have been very, very difficult. And it gets worse every day. Your Majesty, I'm still a virgin. I've never had sex before. Quiet! 
your majesty, I, I, I'm just trying to... I said quiet. You, all of you, go back to your duties. Go. Yes, sir. Shut up, stay here.